He's instantly won hearts at Old Trafford and looks to be a fully packaged delivery sent from the football gods to Manchester United fans. Kabi Mainu is the player, the wonder kid, the phenomenon. But his lifestyle at 18 years of age is even more glorious than his rise to prominence. His properties, net worth, relationship, and everything in between. This is Kabi Mainu's lifestyle. Kabi Boateng Mainu was born in Stockport, Greater Manchester on the 19th of April 2005 to Ghanaian parents Felix Mainu and Abena Harrell. Growing up, Mainu was faced with a couple of challenges as his parents went their separate ways, but they remained committed to raising him to pursue his dreams. Mainu grew up with his two sisters in Manchester, and he's also said to be the younger brother of TV personality Jordan Haynes, who appeared as a contestant on the fifth series of Love Island. Kabi started his youth career at Cheeto and Gatley Junior Football Club before joining Manchester United at the tender age of nine. From there, he worked his way up the academy before eventually being on the verge of the senior squad. Meanwhile, his parents, particularly his father, played critical roles in his early career development by finding the perfect balance between school and football. As a child, his father would carry him to training and watch his kid take on those who were two to three years older than him. Shortly after turning 17, Kabi Menu signed his first professional contract with the Red Devils in May 2022, and by October that year, he was already training with a senior team. He would then make his first team debut in a League Cup game in January 2023, before making his sole Premier League appearance of the season a month later. The talented teenager would go on to win the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year award in 2023, showcasing his credentials as one of the best products from United's academy. While with the rest of the squad for this season's preseason, Kabi picked up an injury that kept him out of action for months. He finally made his first league start for Manchester United in their 3-0 Premier League victory away at Everton, and guess what? Our boy Kabi received the Man of the Match award for his amazing performance, and since then his presence and influence on the team has grown remarkably, with many club and league legends being impressed. The number 37 has already made more than a dozen league appearances in the heart of the midfield for the club this season. As you would expect, Kabi's talent has caught the eye of other top European clubs, and no doubt they'll be lurking, waiting for any slip-ups from Man U so that they could launch an attack during the transfer market. Manchester City is one of the clubs who are rumored to be interested in the youngster. One of the most exciting things about Kabi is that he can play in a variety of positions across the field. During the early stages of his youth career, he even played as a striker, but we're pretty sure the coaches must have seen something in him that made them move him back to the engine room in the midfield. But what particular midfield role do you see Kabi Mainu thriving in the most? On the international stage, we've seen Mainu play for England at the under-17, under-18, and under-19 levels. He's yet to make a senior appearance and is also eligible to represent Ghana thanks to his parents' ethnicity. However, many English stars have already endorsed Mainu to be part of the Three Lions squad in the coming international competitions. Whether the Euro 2024 tournament is too soon for Mainu remains to be seen, but seeing that Southgate's side is a little short of informed midfield options, it wouldn't be strange seeing Kabi included in the team. Let's get to the juiciest part of Kabi's lifestyle. The midfielder doesn't turn 19 until April, and while it is not rare for sports stars around his age to be in a relationship, Kabi is different. With a strong and lovely family network around him, they've nurtured the youngster and kept him grounded. Kabi lives a simple life like a regular 18-year-old. He has no tattoos or piercings as of now. As far as his lifestyle goes, his close pals and colleagues have described the midfielder as humble saying that he never gets carried away with his ability. We know him to be a calm lad who never steps out of line despite the spotlight already being on him. Kabi seems to be on the right trajectory with his measured approach to life. He still finds time to visit Ghana during holidays, but other than that, we really don't know what he's up to. Why is that? United have been allegedly shielding him from media activities, just as Ferguson did with Ryan Giggs in the early 90s. By protecting him from external media engagements during his early days, United hoped to minimize the sometimes deleterious effect that the media has on the development of young players, but no doubt we'll be hearing more from Kabi in the coming seasons. Currently, the teenager hasn't looked out of place when it comes to handling the physical demands of his position in the English Premier League thanks to grueling workouts and a nutritious diet, which have helped him to add some mass to his slight frame. When Man United officially resumed preseason drills ahead of this season, Manu was one of the earliest arrivals at Carrington and he came in a Mercedes-Benz to training. Trust football fans, they came all out for Kobe for driving such a luxury car as a teenager. 
Some fans reckon that they found it ridiculous that Cobby could already afford such a car, despite barely playing a senior game. But another section of fans saw nothing wrong with it, saying that it wasn't too crazy seeing that Cobby had already signed a professional contract. Maynou continues to use the main car park at United's Carrington Training Complex instead of driving around to the first team car park behind the main building. He also continued to shower and change with the club's under-21 side, despite being a regular in the first team due to a pecking order at Carrington. However, once Donny van de Beek and Facundo Pellistri headed out on loan in January, the teenager was invited in. As for his residence, the England Youth International still lives with his parents, so at the moment, he doesn't have many properties to his name, but we can all see that changing very soon. Manu's contract brings him a measly wage of £10,000 per week, making him one of the lowest earners at the club. But thanks to his recent performances, he has now earned a major pay rise, despite not signing a new contract. According to the Daily Star, a clause in his current contract allows for a 100% raise once he becomes a regular in the United team. While the midfielder's contract runs until the summer of 2026, it is easy to see the contract being upgraded before then. Why does Kabi earn so little compared to the others, you might ask? The word on the street is that since he arrived at Old Trafford, Ten Hag instituted a policy of tightening up on the wages offered to younger players. The aim is to keep them grounded and only reward progress with pay rise incentives. Ten Hag believes that this will not only help to manage their egos, but also help preserve their development in an already inflated market. Seeing that Cubby is already on £20,000 a week, his annual salary adds up to more than £1 million a year. Now that's crazy for a teenager whose career literally just started. We're not quite sure of the nature of partnerships and endorsements that Cubby has with mega brands at the moment, seeing that his social media pages don't really say much about him. However, our best guess is that putting a number of factors into consideration, we expect the midfielder's net worth to be a few million dollars, and that figure could be anywhere from $5 million to $10 million. Kobe Mainu became the sixth youngest player to make 10 Premier League appearances or Manchester United at the young age of 18 years and 291 days specifically. And interestingly, he was just one day older than Cristiano Ronaldo was on his 10th appearance for the club in the year 2003. As he continues to show composure and scale well beyond his years, fans will continue to have divided opinions about his potential in the coming years. Some fans still think that he is overhyped, while the others believe that he's already as good as advertised. But with all that aside, what are your thoughts about Kabi Menu and how do you see his career with Manchester United playing out in the future?